going to talk about uh, our AHS drama. We have Delaney Warhank. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, Ruby Chastain. Good morning. Good morning, Ruby. And Nathan Delgado. Good morning to you. Good morning. So, um, Sleeping Beauty and the Beast is the next uh, performance that the drama group is doing. What? Uh, tell us a little bit about Sleeping Beauty and the Beast. It sounds to me like you've taken a couple of children's fairy tales and kind of mashed them together. It really is a bunch of mashed together uh, fairy tales. So, of course, they have Sleeping Beauty, and then they have The Beast, and then they have um, Puss in Boots, which is kind of awkward, and then they have the Headless Horseman. He's just yeah. a random character thrown in there. And then we have the Godfather. He's also in there. Wait a minute. That wasn't from any of the childhood. No, no but no. he's in there, so it's pretty interesting. I think it's more it's for like, the parents' attention. Yeah. 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 That's, well, that's great. So mm -hmm. how many people are in the cast? Oh. Like 18? 19? Around 19, 18, yeah. So it's a big, uh, it, it's a big cast. Yeah. yeah. Plus all the behind-the-scenes uh, mm -hmm. yes. crew that uh, that goes to pull that off. Um, what uh, Are you on stage or are you behind the scenes, Delaney? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to be on stage for a little bit, but I'm behind the scenes. But there's one scene where I'm going to get to drive a golf cart across the stage. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. um, and that's allowed, huh? Yeah, it should be. <laughs> it should be. We're hoping. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have brought that up. <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. Uh, on that, it, what's your character's name, or what? What is the character that you are portraying? I guess just limo driver. Limo driver. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How about you, Ruby? Uh, are you uh, on stage or behind the scenes? I'm on stage. Um, I'm playing the Wicked Fairy. Okay. So, uh, the Wicked Fairy, is this a mashup of different, uh, um, like the Wicked Witch and the Good Fairy from the North, or am I mixing in another story that no, doesn't apply? No, it's like apply? that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you get to do in the in the play? Um, I don't want to spoil it, but basically, I'm like... <laughs> the bad guy? Yeah, I'm the oh, bad guy. Oh, okay, okay. So, you're the, you're the villain in the in this story. Nathan, how about you? Are you on stage or behind the scenes? Or? I'm on stage for okay. most of the time. Most um, of the time, yeah. Right. I play I play Prince Charmless, <laughs> not charming, but Charmless. <laughs> okay, he, he's like the hero of the story. It's kind of everything opposite of Prince Charming. Okay, but, yeah. that's that's crazy. Do you have like the most lines of anybody? <laughs> 136 lines. Oh my goodness! So how how have you been uh, able to focus on that and study and? Um, when our stage manager gets onto us, you know, it's kind of a push. When Delaney. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not my job. But yeah, but most of it is okay because they're just like normal conversation lines. Okay. So easy to remember. So are you narrating the story or are you actually uh, a big I'm part of the story? I'm actually part of the story. Big, big part of the story. Well, that's... Uh, Sounds like fun. How, how uh, you auditioned for this, or did the yeah. or did the director just walk in and say, "Okay, your turn"? <laughs> no, we had auditions for it. Uh -huh. Those are always really fun. Yeah. yeah. So when you audition, um, you know what the play is, right? When you yeah. audition, mm -hmm. and so you read lines. Is there? Do you ever get the part that you really want to get, or do you read and then? I really wanted this part, but I got this part. Sometimes it's. Sometimes it's like that, but um, for those of us who have been in drama for a really long time, we uh, know how to act a certain way to earn the character. So. Ah, okay. So did you get the part you wanted? Yes. <laughs> you wanted to be the villain. Uh, Nathan, did you get the part you wanted? or mm, Kind of. Kind of? I mean, I didn't really want it at first, but it's turned out to be pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how about you, Delaney? I just uh, brought up an idea, and that's how I got my part. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is this is not a strict line for line performance of this particular play. There is some uh, creative license that mm -hmm. uh, that yes, you have inserted definitely. into this. Okay. Well, that that sounds like fun. Mm. Is it geared more towards kids, adults, or is there kind of something for everyone in here? I feel like there's a few <laughs> comments that kids won't be able to understand, but yeah. adults will be like, oh, yep, I get that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's for everyone. Especially when the Godfather comes in. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, well, that's what you said. That was kind of for the, uh, the, the Godfather. Yeah, because I don't remember the Godfather in, <laughs> no. in any of these uh, children's uh, stories or stuff like that. How long have you been uh, working on this? How long has the cast been together? And 
I want to say since the beginning of April, but I only yeah. jo- I joined a few weeks late because I had other things. I had competitions I had to get done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. And who's directing? Uh, Mr. Irby. Mr. Irby. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's uh, he's a good director. Yes. So yes. Should be uh, should be good. So performances are coming up uh, next weekend, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So you're going to do one for the student, uh, for the students. For the little kids. For the little, little kids. kids. Uh, that'll be on the 27th? Yes. yes. Okay. And then for the rest of the community that want to come out and watch this uh, performance, when when will that take place? It's going to be on the 29th and the 30th. The place starts at 7, but I believe the doors open at like 6.30. Okay. Yeah. So that's next uh, Friday and Saturday? Yes. Yes, sir. And, yes. Uh, and you said it's at what time? 7 o'clock each night? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And the doors open at 6.30. Doors open at 6.30. And is there a ticket cost? Eight dollars. Eight dollars uh, to to buy a ticket. Mm-hmm. What about the crew behind the scenes? You have a bunch of uh, students that are helping out with that too. Uh, yes, we have a bunch of tech students that are helping out. Um, we have two seniors, so me and this other person named Vic. Mm-hmm. So we're running the backstage mostly, and we're doing like prop changes and set changes and all of that. And then we have two girls working on our props. And then we have a bunch of people working on lighting and uh, sound um, cues. So we have like four people up in the booth doing that. So yeah, we have uh, quite a few people. Pretty yeah. pretty extensive production. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really, really fun. It is. Yeah. So what are some of the props that uh, are like really fun to work with or interesting that might, you know, come to the play and see? The golf cart. The golf cart. Yeah, the golf cart's going to be a major one. Yes. We kind of haven't run that through with Mr. White yet, so it's going to be like, oh, here's the golf cart. We're using it. Thank you. If you're hearing this, Mr. White, we're sorry. Uh, well, he'll hear about it. Uh, make sure it's an electric golf cart. Yes. It's the school's golf cart that we use oh, for... the school? Yeah, the yeah. one that we use for um, the victory bell. For Skills USA. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, then... That should, should be allowed. Be good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just tell them we got to get the victory bell in the play, and then. Oh. <laughs> Imagine we actually did oh, that. No. Though we're not. No. <laughs> no. We're not doing that. It's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, that that's great. And uh, so now, are any of you seniors? I am. You two? Yes. Them too. The, them too. So, <laughs> uh, this I guess will be. Is this your last yeah, play that you're going to participate play. in? Well, that's kind of sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Have um, have you decided what you're going to do after you graduate, Delaney? I'm going to double major in law and psychology up at UNM. Find out why criminals are crazy? Uh, yeah, I guess. They're just <laughs> everyday people. Law and psychology. She's mm-hmm. going to end up working for the FBI. Oh, are you? You're going to uh, be a profiler? Might, might be. It would be interesting, something different and new. Yeah. Well, that She'd sounds, be good at it. It's exciting. Where, uh, where are you going to go to college? Uh, UNM. UNM. Mm-hmm. Okay. In Albuquerque. That's good. How about you, Ruby? Have you uh, decided what you're going to do? After yeah. Your okay. Um, I'm going to go to WyoTech in Laramie, Wyoming. It's an automotive school. Okay. So it's going to be really fun. Really fun. Automotive school. Yes. What are you going to do with the automotives? Um, for now, I'm going to be studying um, their management classes or their business class and then the um, automotive classes that they have. And then I'll also be branching out into collision and repair. Collision and repair. Well, let me tell you some place that uh, an area that you might want to really get into is fixing Teslas. Mm-hmm. Because when they break, they have to go to Tesla and it can take months for people to get their cars back so which is why a lot of people don't want to buy teslas (laughs) you know if you wreck your chevy or your ford or your chrysler you know Mm. you take it to the dealer and get it fixed and uh, not those um what grade are you in uh, nathan Um, i'm in 10th grade i'm a sophomore just a sophomore okay (laughs) have we even thought about what you want to do when you get uh Mm -hmm. i've thought of majoring in psychology okay well, that's good, um, and wherever that uh, wherever that takes you. So, yeah. Well, that sounds exciting. So, um, uh, to the seniors, are you guys going to miss drama or? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Maybe where you're going to go to college, they'll have a drama department. You can still, or do some community theater or something. Yeah, like that. maybe. Have, have you been in the community theater here? Have you done any of their performances? Mm-hmm. They have a play this weekend. You do. Oh, wow. Yeah, you might want to go to that. It's uh, Secrets of the Buttermilk Hotel. Oh. And there are ghosts, or alleged ghosts, <laughs> and ghost hunters, 
and uh, other interesting things that take place. So, yeah, they're having theirs at uh, Ocotillo mm -hmm. tonight, opening nights tonight. Then they have two performances tomorrow and one Sunday afternoon. So, mm -hmm. I wanna... well, good luck to them. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be so really fun for them. We'll do that. Um, so will there be anything else that uh, the drama department will be doing this year, or is this uh, this kind of the... This is the final yeah, play. The final and then, of course, we have our banquet, but that's just for everyone that's in the drama or technical theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's pretty exciting. Nathan, are you going to be glad when these two are gone? And No. To be honest, <laughs> I'm going to miss the most of them. I told Delaney, I was like, I'm not going to have anyone to talk to when you leave. Yeah. Uh, well, you'll find someone. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you'll pick on the new kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Do Mess with all the freshmen for us. <laughs> so is there a particular um, aspect of this particular play that uh, you really want to make sure people see? You know, we don't want to give it away, but, you know, other than the golf cart driving across the stage, <laughs> anything else we need to be watching out for? I don't know. The Godfather scene is pretty great. <laughs> the Godfather scene is pretty funny. <laughs> that's pretty good. Does, do, so you get confronted by the Godfather? Um, not kind of. I really just call for him, but Snow White's the one that gets talked by him. Okay, so who are some of the other characters? You're the, you're Prince Charmless, Charmless <laughs> and you're the villain. You're um, the Wicked Fairy. The Wicked Fairy. You're the limo driver. Yeah. <laughs> so who are some of the other characters that are in the in this production? Uh, we have Snow White. We have the King and the Queen. We have Princess Rose, which is his love interest. Oh. We have Puss in Boots, and then we have the Headless Horseman. And then we have dwarves, and it's the fairy godfather, and then yeah. Vinny, which is his henchman. Uh, Vinny? Oh. Yeah. And then oh, her Igor. henchman, which his is Igor. Igor. You have a henchman? Yes. Okay. Igor. Mm. Does he have a hump? Uh -oh. No, but he might. <laughs> <laughs> and does it move from one side to the other? So I'm thinking a movie plot, a movie. Mm -hmm. Young Frankenstein. Oh, that one's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Or or how about, um, what's the Mel Brooks one? Um, Spaceballs. Was it Spaceballs? Mm. And then and there's Prince Valium. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's Robin Hood Men in Tights. And uh, the prince uh, or the, the king character has a mole that keeps moving around. And, oh. Uh, oh. He says, <laughs> And, the, and and they ask him, that mole, is it? You keep moving around. And he, his line is, I have a mole. I have a mole. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have to think of some of those. All right, so it's uh, the 27th for the students. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then for the general public, the 29th and 30th, that's next Friday and Saturday at the Estelle Yates Auditorium, 7 o'clock each night. Doors open at? 6.30. 6.30. And it's called Sleeping Beauty and the Beast? Yes. 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 Good. Anything else we need to mention or talk about? Anybody you want to say hi to out there? <laughs> I don't know. You guys have anyone you want to say hi to? I mean, I guess we could say good luck to all the kids going to state band yeah. today that they're oh, heading up yes. to Rio Rancho. And then they have to come back at 1 o'clock in the morning for prom tomorrow. So That's it's right. going to have a long day. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, Nathan, you're going to be going to Rio Rancho. Yes. But you're not, you're not allowed to go to prom, are you? No. Not yet. Not yet. But uh, so you're... When, when are you guys leaving today? Um, around 10. Around 10? Yeah. Yeah. Because if we say that, the barking guy will show up and bark at you when you get ready to leave. Just give you a send-off. So but where are you leaving from? Um, at the high school. At the high school. Yeah, on the bus. But, I mean, where, where are you gathering to get on the bus? Oh, at the band hall. At the band hall. Okay. Excellent. Well, good luck this weekend, and good luck with your play next weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. All Thank right. You. Let's go.